of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me today. I'm wearing my Hawaiian shirt today in the honor of the fact that summer is coming to an end. I hate to see it go. I don't want it to go. So I'm wearing the Hawaiian shirt in protest. Stay summer. Anyway, on today's episode, we're looking at Topaz Studio 2 again. On today's episode, we're looking at the Edge Exposure Filter. It's a nice filter. It's not a really wow and you know, crazy over-the-top type filter, but it's a very effective filter, and I think it's one that you can use in your images and get really nice results with. So let's get started. And away we go. This is one of my flower images. I love shooting flowers, and it's one of my favorite of all things to do in photography. I really, really enjoy it. So we're looking at the edge exposure filter. It's under the creative section of filters. So let's give it a click and see what's there. Of course, we have the opacity slider. We have the blend modes. We have the presets. We have the uh, save preset icon. In case you come up with a preset that you really like, you can save that preset. We have the trash can so we can get rid of this if we don't want it. All right. So let's take a look at these icons across the top here. We have four icons. We have one with an arrow to the left, one arrow going up, one going down, one going to the right. All right. And this is for the, the different edges of the image, hence the edge exposure. All right. And then we have sliders. We have a left exposure, and we have a left size and a left transition. If I will, would click on the up icon, then we would have a top exposure, a top size, and a top transition. Of course, we would have a bottom exposure when I click on this bottom icon. And we have a bottom transition. And a, if we click on the right arrow here, then we have a right exposure, a right size, and a right transition. So let's start off by clicking on the left exposure. Now, if we move the exposure to the left, we will lighten up the left side. If we move it to the right, we will darken the left side. Think of this as vignetting. It's different than vignetting though, because it's mainly just attacking the edges. So it's not like the oval shaped vignettes. And this is quite an effective vignetting technique and I really like it a lot, but I'll tell you something really cool about it. See right here, color, strength, and color. You can add color to these edges, which is really super cool. This is something that Topaz gives us. A lot of other manufacturers of software don't let you alter the colors of the edges. But Topaz, being such a creative company and into uh, photo art and things like that, they give us these uh, color adjustments in the edge exposure, which I think is really awesome. So again, we're on the left edge exposure. So let's say we want to darken that edge a little bit. Okay, so we darken it there, and then we can take the size of it. We can make it narrow, narrower. It's a hard word for me to say, sorry. Move it to the right, make it wider. Okay, so we can adjust it. And then we can transition how, how it goes into the image. So if we move this to the right, it'll transition more into the image. Move it to the left, it'll have less of a transition. Okay, so just find a point that you like. Now, if you like that setting, you could come here and click Apply All, and it applies that to the overall image, which is really cool. But for now, let's go ahead and hit reset. Let's do these one at a time. Let's say, for instance, this left side, I want to make it a little bit lighter because it appears to me that the light is coming over the left hand side of this flower. So let's make that left exposure a little on the light side. OK, and then let's take the size of it and take it in a little bit to the right just emphasizing some light coming in here. And let's move this transition here and see how much we want here. I'm gonna say maybe right around there. All right, and now let's go to the bottom one right here. Let's click on this icon. Now let's do the bottom edge. So let's take that exposure to the darker side. So let's just darken that up a little bit. Let's play with the size of it. See how far we want it to come in. Maybe right around there looks pretty good. Basically, what I'm trying to do is close off the bottom to keep your eye up into this section of the flower here. And let's darken this side a little bit here. So let's come to the right side, this icon right here. Give it a click. And let's uh, darken that exposure a little bit, just a little bit. And let's adjust its size, take it out a little bit more. And let's do its transition. Let's transition it maybe right around there. And let's say the top, let's leave it alone. I don't think we need anything. Let's click in the center of the image. There's the before and there's the after. Pretty cool. I like that. 
let's go ahead and reset it and let's try some other things here so now let's take the right exposure or excuse me let's click on the left exposure let's darken it up a little bit this time let's take the transition out a little bit like so the size I meant to say if I didn't uh, then the left transition let's move the transition out a little bit into the image a little bit like that let's click apply to all now let's do something fun here let's come to color strength this is so cool you take the slider and you move it to the right and you're gonna add color to those edges which I think is really cool now that color doesn't look good but let's slide it along this line here through the different tints and I'm going to take it up into the color of the flower sort of the pink tones like right up in here that's a little too strong so let's back that off so maybe right around there okay and then let's take come up to our opacity slider and this is pull that the whole way off all right now let's slowly drag it to the right and add that little bit of an edge color to the image just to pull your emphasis into the center portion of the flower here so right there now let's click on the click the center of the image before or after and as I said in my last video you can click anywhere in this image and you'll see the before and after and that's the left click of the mouse so that's pretty cool I really like it and play around with this color strength here because I think you're really really going to enjoy that when we get into the um, vignette filter, I believe we can also adjust the color of the vignette, which is super. I use it all the time in flower photography. It is really a cool technique. So I hope you enjoyed this one today, guys. All right. Well, that was the Edge Filter. Thank you for joining me again today on The Joy of Editing with your host, Dave Kelly. I will see you guys here next time. But... If you like this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber with my channel, please do so. And please click the bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed of all the new training videos that I'm putting out. Well, again, thanks for joining me today on another episode of The Joy of Editing with your host, Dave Kelly. And I'll see everyone here next time.